Hi friends! The error.type function returns a number corresponding to one of the error values in Microsoft Excel or returns the hash value not available error if no error exists. You can use error.type in an if function to test for an error value and return a text string, such as a message, instead of the error value. Let's see how the error.type function can be used in Microsoft Excel. Open the desired Excel worksheet. Here for demo purpose, we are using a worksheet according to the error.type function. The error.type function syntax has the following arguments. Error val. That is the error value whose identifying number you want to find. Although error val can be the actual error value, it will usually be a reference to a cell containing a formula that you want to test. We are also showing you the description of each function we're going to use here. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash, null, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error.type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash null error type. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash div slash zero, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error dot type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash div slash zero error type. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash value, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error.type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash value error type. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash ref, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error.type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash ref error type. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash name, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error.type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash name error type. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash num, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error.type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash num error type. To find the number corresponding to the error type, hash n slash a, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals error.type, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the error type, close parentheses, and then press the Enter key. It will show the number corresponding to the hash not available error type. See? That wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching. For more details, click on the eye icon on the top right of the video. Check out our iYogi channel for self-help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.